I'm Krista Jacobson, headmistress of the Buddha Dukai, where we teach authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu. For those of you who don't know what that is, those are the ancient martial arts of the ninja and samurai. In today's video, I'm going to discuss how to study from the ancient scrolls and how to take that study and apply it to your training. Now in this video, you're going to hear me make reference to the Bonsen Shukai, the Shoninki, and the Nimpaden. And that's just because those three ancient texts are very commonly talked about within the ninjutsu community. Now, you can be, I can make a reference to any historical document because what I'm going to say today would be the same regardless of what historical document you're using. And we can easily say the Bubishi, the Book of Five Rings, or the Hagakure, right? Um, but because I run a ninjutsu organization and the majority of my followers are interested in um, samurai warfare, historical ninjutsu, um, things of that nature, then I'm going to be using the Bonsen Shukai, the Nimpaden, and the Shoninki as examples, okay? Now, these three texts are considered the three treasures of ninjutsu. They are um, public domain, they are documents that everyone has readily, uh, has easy access to, they can buy the book, you know, they can go get a copy of the scroll and do their own research within the, within the writings. Those three texts are extremely easily available for anyone who studies ninjutsu. However, there are lots of people who think because they buy those books, they have all the secrets of ninjutsu, and now that they have it, they have some sort of like um, clout or position uh, that they absolutely don't have. Now, I know that when you watch my videos, you see that I make videos in, uh, about the Book of Five Rings or the Bon Shukai or whatever, all these different ancient texts. And I don't think there's anybody in the ninjutsu community that runs a martial arts school that's more of an advocate for reading the ancient scrolls than me. Um, if, if, if there is, I don't know of that individual, but um, I am a huge advocate for, his, for researching the historical documents, reading them, understanding them, and trying to open your mind to what the ninja and samurai did in the feudal era and how you can take that information and apply that to your martial training. So, without doubt, I am a huge advocate for the Bon Shukai, Nimpaden, Shoninki, Book of Five Rings, Hagakure, Bubishi, anything that's a historical text in the martial arts community. I am a huge advocate for if you believe that it can add substance to your training, then you should go read it. And if you can utilize the information, great. I'm also a huge advocate for reading it. That way it will open your mind to something more than what you're just training in. However, this type of training needs needs to have its own place and that place is not a replacement for actual training of the martial arts and that's what we're going to get into today now um, for me to give you guys an example i'm going to talk about uh, fitness uh, bodybuilding strength training um, strongman competition i'm going to do things like that uh, to kind of paint a picture so you guys can understand where i'm coming from by trade before i started the buddha Dukai back in 2004 um, I used to own a health club. I was a personal trainer. Um, I did uh, bodybuilding, fitness competitions, things like that. And um, I'm going to be using that as an example because I believe that anyone watching this video, regardless whether you practice ninjutsu or not, if you're on my channel, I think just the idea of fitness and working out, you will definitely be able to relate to the example that I'm going to give. If someone wants to be a bodybuilder, the first thing they have to do is they got to go to the gym and train like a bodybuilder. That's the first thing. You have to train your body in bodybuilding to be a bodybuilder. If you want to be a power lifter, and that ain't the same thing, you have to go to the gym, you have to train your body to be a power lifter, right? If you want to do strongman competition, and, and strongman and power lifting ain't the same thing. Any of you gym rats, you know what I'm talking about. That ain't the same thing. But if you're going to do strongman competition, then you have to go train your body to be able to do that type of training to, to be able to be that, right? It doesn't matter whether you're doing basketball, football, cross country, um, triathlons, golf, tennis, soccer. It is absolutely irrelevant what example we use here. Whatever it is that you want to do, the first thing you have to do is go to where you need to go and physically train your body to be able to do those things. That's the first thing. So we're going to use bodybuilding as an example. So you go to the gym, you're busting ass, and you're working your body to have this aesthetic look to 
um, compete in bodybuilding, right? You want to look like a, a Greek god, right? You want to look like this, this god on stage with the muscles and this aesthetic beauty and everything symmetrically correct and all this kind of stuff. So as you're training your body to do this, the next thing you have to do is you have to have the proper nutrition. Nutrition are the things that has to go hand in hand with training and it has to be correct to make the training be as efficient as it can be. Because if you put improper fuel into the body, your body will not be able to train as well as it would if you put in good fuel. So the nutrition that you use has to be on par and exactly at the same level as your training, right? You can't train like, you know, a, a professional bodybuilder and then eat McDonald's three or four times a day. You're not gonna look like a professional bodybuilder. There's just no way around it. So the nutrition, the second stage, the second thing I'm talking about, it has to be on par, it has to be equal to the intensity of your training. The third thing that you're going to do as we go down this ladder here, uh, when you're in bodybuilding, you have to have proper supplementation. Now supplements are the things that you have that you get from your nutrition, right? There's nothing, if you have proper nutrition, there is no supplement that you're going to take that you're not going to get from nutrition in some way or another. But sometimes you just need more of a certain supplement and you take more of it to help the nutrition, to better the nutrition, which then betters your training. So that's what a supplement is. A supplement is that. A supplement is not standalone. So there are people who can just do the weight training and they will get strong, but they're not going to be a bodybuilder. But if you do the weight training like a bodybuilder and you have nutritional and you eat all natural, you know, skinless, boneless, skinless chicken breasts, broccoli, all that kind of stuff, right? Um, you're going to have an aesthetic look that will be very similar to a bodybuilder, you know? That is the way it's going to be. You eat clean, you train hard, you're going to look lean. Now, the supplements aid the nutrition. But if you train like a bodybuilder, you don't eat any nutrition at all. You're not eating the boneless, skinless chicken breast. You're not having broccoli. You're not eating the, you know, the whole grain, all natural rice, brown rice, all that kind of stuff. If you're not doing that, and all you're doing is, okay, for breakfast, I'm going to have a multivitamin. For lunch, I'm going to have some amino acids. Um, for my snack, I'm going to have uh, some creatine. And for dinner, I'm going to have a meal replacement, right? Um, with water, you know, for crying out loud, you, you're not going to live very long. Your, your body will not look like it needs to look. You're not going to be able to perform the way you want to perform. You're not going to be able to be what you want to be. So for, if someone was a bodybuilder, they would need to go to the gym and train to be a bodybuilder. They would need adequate nutrition to back up the training. And then they would need to supplement that nutrition with the supplements needed for that individual to perform at the level they want to perform. And that right there, those three things, that whether it's a bodybuilding, whether it's strength training, whether it's, uh, like I said, strength competition, whether it's powerlifting, basketball, football, baseball, golf, soccer, tennis, it does not matter. Those three things have to be in line if you're going to be efficient and you're going to, ex and you're going to excel in that particular craft. When you look at martial arts training, martial art, whatever dojo you go to, that is the training. And I'm saying that this is a video for all anyone that's in the ninjutsu community. So if you guys are, um, if you guys are here with me with the Budo Dukai, then study the Budo Dukai, study Budo Ninjutsu, our seven traditions, what it is that we do, how we go about it, the five areas of training. That is what you should be training. That's what you should be dedicating yourself to. But if you're going to the Bujin Khan, then do that. If you're doing Genbu Khan or Jinin Khan or Toshin Do or uh, any offshoot of Iga Ryu or offshoot of Kogo Ryu or Black Dragon Fighting Society or Duke's Ru or anything, I'm throwing all this out there. The, the uh, Mr. Ron Duncan's Way of the Wind system, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is that you're doing, do it. That is the whatever you feel is the best martial art for you or the best method of ninjutsu training. You make that choice, and whatever choice it is, that is number one. Do it. That is your training. You have to do that first. The second step is now you have to add adequate nutrition, and that adequate nutrition has to be on level with that training, right? Has to be on level with that training because nutrition is what fuels the training. So if you're in the Buddha Yukai, that means you need to be buying 
all the, the things that you can use to help you better understand the training. So you need to be getting all of my books, all of my videos, the downloads, reading the daily posts, all that kind of stuff. You need to be having that to, to have nutritional value to the training you're going to get in the Buddha Dukai. So if you are studying Buddha Dukai Ninjutsu with me, whether you're in the online dojo, you're in one of my other dojos, you're here at the Hanbu, if you're training in Buddha Dukai Ninjutsu, then you need to be buying my books, my DVDs, all the downloads, you be keeping up with the posts. You need that because that is the nutritional value that's going to give you substance. It's going to help you stay motivated and focused and give you the information that you need to continue the physical training within the dojo, right? That goes across the board. Again, because I'm making this a blanket to everyone in the ninjutsu community. If you're in the if you're in the um, Bujinkan, then you need to be buying Hatsumi's books and videos. If you're in the uh, Toshin Do, then you should be buying Stephen Hayes' books and videos. You know, if you guys are in the Black Dragon Fighting Society, you should be buying Ishida Kim's books and videos. If you guys, it doesn't matter. I'm using all these guys' as example because whatever art you're choosing and you feel it's best for you, well then it's the best one for you. I'm not here to judge what it is that you're doing. I'm just trying to help everyone better understand the training. Where does the Bonsen Chukai, the Ninpaden, and the Shoninki fit into an individual's ninjutsu training? That is the supplements. You would use that as a supplement to help aid the nutrition to the training. But the training is the training. That is first and foremost. The nutritional value that you need to better understand the training, to be efficient at that training, is the nutrition, the stuff you need that will fuel that training to be the most efficient. If you are studying, say you're studying, um, and I'm going to use, I'm going to use karate, a different, totally different martial art as an example. If you are studying karate, right, some form of karate, whether like gojuru karate, and then. Instead of buying your Gojuru books and Gojuru videos and the, the your master's books and videos and all those kind of things to help supplement to help have the nutritional value to your training, instead you're buying books on like Taekwondo or Hapkido or Jeet Kune Do, you're not gonna totally understand the art. You're adding nutrition that doesn't directly go to the training. So if you are a bodybuilder, right, but you're eating like you're a fucking marathon runner, the training, the nutrition, does not back up the training. So you will not be a bodybuilder if you're eating like a marathon runner, right? If you're a strongman competition, you're if you're trying to compete in strongman competition, but your nutritional value, with what you're eating, what you're taking in to have that nutrition to help that, to aid that, is the same diet that you know some model on the runway is going to be having, right? There's no way you're going to be really good at strength competition because you don't have adequate nutrition. So if you're doing karate and you're getting all these other things, it isn't directly making your karate better, right? The supplements is helps the nutrition. So the Ban Senchukai, I think it's great. Everyone in the ninjutsu community, I feel, should read it so they can better understand historical ninjutsu. Same thing with the Ninpaden and the Shoninki. I'm all in. I think that those books should be read. However, they need to have, you need to understand its place. It is nothing more than a supplement to the nutrition. Supplement to the nutrition. The nutrition is more important than the supplements. The food you eat as an athlete is more important than the amino acids, the creatine, the multivitamins, the protein shakes, or anything else you're going to be using, right? Pre-workout shakes, all that kind of shit. I'm telling you that nutrition is going to be better. It's going to be more useful and for you in training than the supplement. <clears throat> the supplement just aids the nutrition. The Bonsen Shukai, the Nimpaden Ninki, all great. And although I think everyone should read them if you're in the ninja community, it is nothing but a supplement to the nutrition which is all the information and all the history and tradition and information and background knowledge and kuden of the art you're learning that goes to the training within the dojo you're in. So I wanted to make that video because a lot of times people take things like way out there. You know, they, you know those, the, you know those um, first degree black belt masters? You know that kind of shit? Jack of all trades, master of none. The tag, I've, I've done 26 different martial arts and I've got a book collection of like 500 books and all this kind of shit. And then you watch them, it's like, you don't have any skills. You have zero skills, right? It's like someone saying, you know, I wake up, oh, I have three protein shakes a day and I take a multivitamin and this, this, this. It's like, all right, let's go work out. And they can't work out. Because they, they don't have the training. They don't have the skills. 
they don't have the proper nutrition to back up their training. They just have, they're just really dedicated to that supplement, right? To so understand its place. It is a supplement to the nutrition. It doesn't take place in the nutrition. And the nutrition that you do has to be able to effectively help the art that you're doing, the physical craft, the, the art, that whatever that is. And you guys determine whatever that is. Hopefully everyone watching this is interested in studying with me and the Budokai. But if you're not, you guys are just watching my videos because you're interested in historical ninjutsu and samurai bujutsu. Well, then there's nothing wrong with that. But make sure you understand its purpose, right? So if you guys are with me and you're studying Tomoru or you're studying you know, whatever Yuha you're with, Togakura Ryu or Iga Ryu or Kogo Ryu or whatever dojo you go to, do it. Dedicate yourself to something. Stand for something or fall for anything, right? Dedicate yourself to the craft that you are totally trying to master. Get the correct nutrition to back up that training. So whatever school you're with, make sure you are buying their books, their videos, their lessons, you're understanding the history and the tradition. Everything that is that you're doing, make sure you have the proper nutrition to back up the training. Then, once you feel that you need to take it to the next level and you need to add supplements, those things, Bonsen Chukai, Nimpiden, Shoninki, those are supplements that you add to the nutrition, but it is not the training. So hopefully, I have answered that question because a lot of times people say, hey, I bought this book. And I'm like, hey, great. Do you even train at all? You know, it's that sort of thing. I'm not trying to be a smart ass, but I am trying to add a little bit of realism to it because so, hopefully you guys can pick up the message here. Kind of hopefully you guys get where I'm coming from, right? So anyway, if this is the first video that you guys uh, have seen of me, I'm Krista Jacobson. I'm the head of the Budo Yukai. Um, if you guys are interested in authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu, um, go to the description, click my link, and you guys can go to budoninjutsu.com. There you can see the five areas of training and the seven ancient warrior traditions that we teach. Um, you can check out our dojo locator. If you're next to one of our dojos, please come in and take a free class if it's something you like. If you're not next to one of our dojos, um, we do offer an online ninjutsu dojo where you can study the ancient arts. Um, just like you got this lesson right here. And um, right, so if you guys are interested, click the link. And anyone with a good heart and is willing to learn, I'm willing to work with you guys, okay? So um, thank you guys very much for our blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys very much for all of your love and support. I deeply appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe and click the bell, damn it, so you guys can get the notifications on my next videos coming up. Put two to three videos up a week on authentic ninjutsu and classical samurai bujutsu so if you're into historical martial arts you want to make sure that you subscribe to my videos and click the bell so you get the notifications thank you guys very much and i will talk to all of you guys in the next couple days bye